When I was at university, I did a certain amount of uh, student journalism alongside, alongside my studies, and I knew what I wanted to do, and I wanted to be a journalist. And I took a job uh, in the north of England, quite a long way away from where I'd lived before, up in the north in a city called York. And I was a local journalist there for a newspaper. This was the days when local newspapers and the regional press uh, in Britain and everywhere else were very strong. You know, they, made, they, they, they had enough money to keep going and they were the principal source of information. And I, my beliefs about journalism and my love for journalism was all about the traditional things that journalists want to do. They want to tell people what's going on and they want to try and do it accurately. And then in the midst of my career, a huge change or two, two really big changes occurred. When I began as a journalist in Britain, we had three television channels, four radio channels, uh, and lots and lots and lots of newspapers. And then the two big things that happened were we had enormous numbers of television channels by the 1980s and the 1990s, enormous, infinite numbers of radio channels almost. And then of course, online and the internet disrupted uh, public communication, news, journalism completely. So the second half of my career was quite largely dominated by coping with those changes and trying to preserve what's important about journalism in any era in completely new, new changed circumstances.